This After Effects tutorial is sponsored by Skillshare.com. In this After Effects tutorial, we will create a digital glitch text animation instead of After Effects that too without using any plugins. It's a super cool effect, looks very dynamic and it's very easy to create. With that said, I am Nick Hill from Dopemotions.com and without any further ado, let's jump into After Effects and get started. Alright, so here we are in After Effects. Let's start by creating a new composition. Let's go with 1920 by 1080, 30 FPS in 10 seconds long. I'll call this title. Hit OK. Let's select the text tool and then you can type in, of course, anything that you want. I'm going to type in digital. For the font, I'm using Integral CF. I have mentioned the link in the description below so you can go ahead and download the same exact font let's set this to 150 and align this into the center now let's add a flickering kind of uh, effect to this text so to do that i'm going to click on the small arrow that you see right here go into animate and let's add an opacity bring down the opacity percentage to zero let's go into the range selector i'm going to make some space right here all right and then I'm going to animate the start property. So let's go to around one second, set the start to hundred percent, create a keyframe, go back and set this to zero. So basically we have something like this, pretty simple. Now let's go into the advanced properties and let's set the smoothness down to zero and turn on the randomize order. So now we have something like this, which is what I am going for. Pretty simple and nice. Now let's go into effects and preset and let's start creating that glitchy animation. So the first effect that we need for this is the minimax effect. Don't type in minimax, double click to apply that and set the operation to, to maximum and then minimum. Set the channel to alpha and color and direction to just horizontal. All right, now if I increase the radius, you can see we get this really interesting look. So let's set this all the way up to, you know, 100 or something. Go at the very start, create a keyframe on the radius, go to one second and set this to zero. So now if I preview this, we have this really cool look. I think 100 is a bit too less. Let's set this to um, 200. Yep, that is the look I am looking for. I think it looks pretty cool. Now the next thing I want to add is a little bit of texture to this text. So to do that, I'm going to go into effects and preset, type in turbulence noise, double click to apply that. And as you can see, it's going to add a really nice texture to this, but right now it doesn't look the way I want it to. So the first thing that we need to change here is the fractal type. I'm going to set this to subscale and set the noise type from soft linear to block so it's gonna give this nice blocky texture to this let's increase the contrast a little bit maybe somewhere around there looks good and also increase the brightness a little bit just a touch all right and then i'm gonna go into the transform property unlink the scaling let's increase the scale with really high like so and bring down the scale height to around 50 should be fine and also I'm going to bring down the complexity to let's go with four. That looks much better. Let's position the offset somewhere around here. So we don't see any cutting off lines, but right now you get the idea of what I'm going for. Looks pretty dope. You can play around with the evolution if you want to, which looks super cool. And you know, you can get the desired look that you're going for. All right. So I'm going to go at the very start, create a keyframe on the evolution, go to one second and let's add a little bit of animation like that. So we have something like this. Pretty cool. So now let's add some color to this texture. So to do that, I'm going to use an effect called Colorama. So I'm going to go into effects and presets, search for Colorama, double click and boom, there we have added a really cool 
glitchy look to the complete text now it looks a bit weird at the moment so we need to animate the blend with original here so i'm gonna go i'm gonna zoom in a little bit go to around um, 28 frame create a keyframe on the blend with original go to one second that is two frames forward and then set this to 100 so now it's gonna animate and then stop at black and white now obviously we want our text to be visible and i want my colorama effect behind the text so what i'm going to do is first of all close them all and let's use an effect called cc composite double click to apply that and boom now if i preview this we get this really cool look pretty nice now there are a lot of things that you can do here so first thing that i'm going to do is play around with the glitch texture so i'm going to go into the turbulence noise and let's uh, increase the scale a little bit more and bring down the scale height a little bit a little bit more and let's bring down the complexity to three that 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 looks much better i think let's see yep and now you can see i see a line right here which i don't really like so i can you know change the offset turbulence to somewhere around there so it's not visible now we get a really nice look so now if i preview this we get a really interesting look and the best part is that everything is still editable also one more thing that i'm going to do i'm going to do here is go into the text and uh, going to randomize seed let's change this so i'm gonna change the way the text appears so i think this looks much better let's switch it up a little bit more let's see yeah i think I like this one and one more time i'm gonna offset the turbulence i'll place it around i so that we don't get any choppy line and yeah pretty much happy with this look and finally i will add some glow to this i'll go into effects and presets again and um, search for glow double click to apply that and then i'm gonna place this glow above the cc composite because i want only the distorted color to get the glow effect so I'm going to increase the uh, glow threshold and increase the radius. So we get a really intense glow just like so. You can play around with this a bit more. And also I'm going to hold Alt and click on the small button which is going to switch to 16 bits per channel which is going to give us much more prominent glows as you can see. And then what I'm going to do is go right over here. Create a keyframe on the glow intensity. Then go to one second and set this to zero. So we have something like this which looks pretty damn cool and the best part about this uh, effect is we can anytime change the text so i can change to something like glitch maybe and we have everything intact we don't need to you know recreate everything again and again we can just simply change the text to anything that we want so i can even duplicate this so hit ctrl d to duplicate it put this right over here all right i'm gonna bring down the size to around 75 let's increase this let's put this right over here i'm gonna type in something like digital glitches i'm gonna adjust this a little bit like so and then let's offset this by um, five frames and let's preview the animation and i think this is looking pretty good maybe around 10 frames should be fine that is looking super cool i think before i proceed further with this tutorial let's take a look at today's sponsor skillshare skillshare is an online learning community for creatives where millions come together to take the next step in their creative journey skillshare offers thousands of inspiring classes for creatives and curious people on topics including illustration design photography video freelancing and more Skillshare offers class designed for real life, so you can move your creative journey forward without putting life on hold. You can check out this animation course for motion design on Skillshare to learn more about motion graphics and animation. Skillshare is also incredibly affordable, especially when compared to pricey in-person classes and workshops. The first 1000 people who uses the link in my description will receive one month free trial of Skillshare Premium. Now there are a couple of things that we can still do here is first of all to avoid any kind of uh, color bendings here we can also add some grain to this so i'm going to create a new adjustment layer go into fix and preset and search for 
add green double click to apply that let's set the view mode to final output i'm gonna hit ctrl y to create a background call this bg make sure it's black hit okay let's put this uh, below everything so now you can see the grain more properly so let's bring down the intensity to 0.2 bring down the size to 0.2 bring down the softness to 0.5 and um, let's bring down the expect ratio to 0.5 all right so that is much more better and finally let's add a simple movement animation to this so i'll create a new null object all right hold control and double click on the pan behind tool which is going to move the anchor point into the center align this into the center and then we can hide this select both the text and pattern them to this null object if you don't see this parent option you can hit f4 on the keyboard that should make it visible and if you still don't see it you can right click right over here go into columns and turn on the parent and link option then we can hit s uh, go at the very start let's set this to 115 create a keyframe i'll go to around maybe five seconds and um, set this to 105 or maybe let's go with 100 so now we have a nice zoom out animation along with the glitch so now if i preview this you can see we get this really nice and dynamic looking digital glitch animation inside of after effects using some very simple techniques and inbuilt effects so that is a wrap for today guys i hope you enjoyed this tutorial if you did make sure you hit that subscribe button and do let me know in the comment section below if you enjoyed this tutorial and if you're watching my video for the very first time then make sure you subscribe and press that bell icon so you always get notified whenever i post a new video with that said i will see you guys in the next video till then take care and always stay raw stay creative peace out